I love every part of this story. After last night's story, a Channel 5 viewer emailed us thrilled to connect the dots. He'd recently been on vacation in Ireland. Get this, visited the Farron family pub, where over Guinness probably they were chatting him up, over the late veterans footbridge near BC High. Get this, they had no idea about the medal. It's such a big deal to right. have a purple heart in the family. Veteran Service Director Ben Quell is finally virtually meeting the Purple Heart recipient's great nephew, who has the same name, revealing the medal a moment. It's our ancestral home, and the thought that a man who left here and he still remembered. The family still has a pub in Ireland. <laughs> you couldn't get a better Irish story than that. Talk about being the buzz of the bar. What are people saying there? It's not still not every day you get a you see an article where people's running around looking for a local fella. So um, uh, there's quite a lot of talk. If I was down, I found out dropping the children off at school. Nowadays, we bring our bodies home. We have draped caskets. We have rolling thunder. In World War II, it, it wasn't like that. You know, the, the dead never came home. It's, it's a nice feeling to think that at least somebody's out there and is still looking out for them. It's a great feeling. There's respect for that. This has just been one of the most gratifying things I've ever done in my life. Hugh Farron left Donegal, Ireland in 1928 for Dorchester, where in 1962 he was honored with a pedestrian bridge at Columbia Road. At age 39 during World War II, he served aboard the USS Liscomb. He was killed in the line of duty Thanksgiving Day, 1944. And I did know that he was a fireman which was a big deal. His Navy rate or job in the Navy was water tender first class. So there's your connection to a fireman. So you can be sure that when the Japanese torpedo slammed into the side of that uh, aircraft carrier, that Hugh Farron was the first one to grab a hose. I do appreci appreciate what Ben has done. We've discovered more family here in Stoneham and Weymouth. And the medal was found in the clean out of a house that belonged to a firefighter here in Attleboro. So what's next? That medal could be recognized in what's called the Mass Medal of Liberty that would be giving the family an award stateside and before the medal is sent over the pond back to Ireland. We are live in Attleboro, Rondella Richardson, WCBB News Center 5.